Good morning everyone. I'm Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee and it's the 4th of July. So happy Independence Day. Everyone's been telling me I need to take a little time off and just kick back and not work so hard. So yesterday I took a few hours and went down to Smithville, Tennessee where they had the 51st annual Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree. Now it's not just fiddlers, it's all kinds of competitions from clog dancing to old time music to bands and bluegrass and old Appalachian music and I love all that. I was born and raised in Tennessee and educated at the University of Tennessee and then I left <laughs> for 40 years and lived in New York and LA uh, as an actor and then I moved back to my home state and so I'm experiencing a little bit of what the state has to offer. This is a great festival. Obviously they've been doing it for 51 years. There were tons of vendors. I came home with uh, goat milk soap because I was I just realized I was I had this three year supply of bar soap like three years ago and I'm almost out so I'm going <laughs> it's time to stock up on gotta stock up stock up on bar soap so I bought some homemade goat milk soap and it was four bars well you got five bars for the price of four so I thought hey this is a great deal I got five bars of soap that'll last me a while and also, my friend Vanita discovered the man who makes jerky, beef sticks and jerky. So we got some spicy hot venison jerky, and that was really good. And also, did you know that they can make syrup? Well, not too many people do, but I, I met a man whose company it is, and he makes shag bark hickory smoked syrup and in different flavors and so i'll let him tell you about it hi everybody my name is emmett um, i'm mr hickory and we today we make shag bark hickory syrup this is jacob my helper hi jacob and you could check us out online at mrhickory.com m-i-s-t-e-r and what we do is we make shag bark hickory syrup so we are introducing the flavors of the forest uh, back in the day when Andrew Jackson was president, uh, even before that, um, he planted a lot of hickory trees out there, so there's a lot of flavor. A lot of pitmasters will use the bark off the hickory tree, and they'll smoke their meats with it. We render it down, turn it into a tea, we add some cane sugar, we make some hickory syrup. And we have a couple flavors to offer. We have original, we have vanilla, which we only use finest grade A Madagascar vanilla beans. We have a bourbon aged, we age it in only Tennessee bourbon barrels, Tennessee whiskey. We have amaretto. We have cinnamon, two kinds of cinnamon also, the Ceylon and the Saigon, which is the cambium off the Ceylon and the Saigon trees. And then we also have a sweet and spicy, it's really good on chicken and waffles. So come and explore the flavors of the forest. Check us out, mrhickory.com, and we hope to see you at the next show. Thank you so much. It's really easy to lose yourself with the 
beat of the music, you know, that people are tapping their feet and bobbing their heads to the music. And I just found it great to see, to walk around a square and see old timers carrying, you know, in their overalls, carrying their fiddle case. from Murphy, North Carolina. That's number 131, T-Claw. So the featured band at the Jamboree yesterday was the Cody Norris show. And he's a great entertainer and they had butterflies, you know, I love butterflies, butterflies embroidered all over their costumes. And it was so hot and I ha you have to appreciate performers who are willing to stand up and make people feel good while they're wearing all of these clothes and it is so hot. So they were awesome. The banjo player was great. They're all awesome. I would have loved to have really seen, been there for many hours and seen it all, but it was so humid <laughs> that I reached my limit at one point and I went over to the Methodist Church Community Center. They were serving meals over there and it was cold air conditioning, nice clean bathrooms, and I cooled off and had something to eat over there. So it was a great time. I just wanted to share that um, little foray little venture out with you and wish you a happy fourth of july i love this country my father fought in the uh, world war ii uh, he was in the navy for well three years during the war and then i think seven years in the reserves afterwards so being the daughter of a u.s veteran i appreciate what we have here in this country and i i hope you do too i see a lot of I see a lot of news of people, they don't look like they appreciate being here or want to be here or even like this country. <laughs> and I would like to see us go back to loving our country and our freedoms that we enjoy here. So. Ever since I can recall, and I'm lost. Just 
So I hope you have a great 4th of July and I want to end with a couple of pictures of the stunning red hibiscus. It just exploded. If you think you would enjoy following my journey here on the homestead, trying to build a sustainable homestead at, an, at a slightly older age, <laughs> I hope you consider subscribing. Click the bell for notifications. Scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything right here on the homestead. I'm Kay and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.